Hi students, this is Mr. L. Today we're going to use review uh, factoring completely. So first, here's everything we have learned about factoring. And if you forgot about that, you can go watch any of the previous videos in Unit 1 to review about factoring. Let's get into some examples. Example 1. We can see x squared and 49. 25 is a perfect square, x squared is a perfect square, 49 is a perfect square. We're subtracting, so we're doing difference of perfect squares. That means we can find our a, which in this case, 5x, or b is 7. And we're going to put it as a plus b, so 5x plus 7, and a minus b, 5x plus 7. And that is done for example 1. Example 2. We can see there's a GCF first. So GCF for this example appears to be a 2. So we're going to divide everything by 2. Don't forget to keep 2 outside. So we're going to get 9x squared minus 32x plus 7. And then we're going to do our cross method. On the top is the 9 times 40, so 360. On the bottom is negative 42. And we're going to have our fraction. The combination we need is negative 30 and negative 12. I'm going to put 9x on the top. And we're going to simplify each fraction. So that's going to be uh, 3x over negative 10. That is going to be 3x over negative 10. So our final answer, 2 on the outside of parentheses, then 3x minus 10, and 3x minus 4. That is example 2. Next, example 3. You can see there are four terms, so we are going to do factorial grouping. Before that, we need to see if we have any GCF. And in this case, we do. We have a GCF which is 6. We'll take that out. 6, and we have 5r cubed minus 2r squared plus 10r minus 4. After that, we can do our factorial grouping. So these two. They actually share r squared. We're going to have r squared 5r minus 2. Next to these two, they actually share a 2. So we're going to do plus 2, then 5r minus 2 on the bottom as well. Don't forget to have the 6 in the front. Now they have the same thing inside the parentheses. Let's back that out. We're going to have r squared. And we're done with example three. Example four. We have two terms, but before we do anything, we do have GCF. So let's get rid of the, get rid of the GCF, which is 2x. Uh, 2x over x squared minus 9. After we get rid of the GCF, we can see that is a perfect square, and that is also a perfect square. We just need to find our a, which is 2x, b, which is 3, and we're going to put as a plus b, so 2x. 3 and a minus b, which is 2x minus 3. That's, that's example 4. Example 5. Three terms, and let's start with the GCF. So we have 4x squared plus 29x minus 3. Get x on the outside. Next, we're going to do our cross. So 4 times negative 63 on the top, which is negative 252. And on the bottom is going to be 29. Then we're going to try to find our combination. So fraction line. The combination we need would actually be 36 and negative 7. I'm going to put 4x on the top. That side is going to be simplified to be x over 9. So final answer, x times x plus 9 times 4x plus 7. Example 6. First, we see their GCF. So we've got rid of the 4, which is the GCF. We have x to the 4 minus 5x squared minus 20. 20 is going to be 30. 
you want to do a cross method, or you can see the combination is kind of easy to find. So negative 36 on the top, negative 5 on the bottom. The combination we need is negative 9 and 4. And it's going to be x squared on the top. So 4 times x squared minus 9 times x squared plus 4. Don't forget this factor completely. We have perfect square and perfect square that can be taken apart as x plus 3 and x minus 3. I'll stay the same, x squared plus 4, and 4 in the front. That's example 6. Example 7. You have two terms, and they are all perfect squares, so that means we need to find our a and our b. Our a is going to be 9x squared, especially the square root of 81 and square root of x to the fourth power. Our b is the square root of 625, which is 25. So we have a plus b, so my x squared plus 25. And we also have a minus b, my x squared minus. And here we have 9x squared plus 25. They're not that they're plus, so we cannot do anything. But for the second parentheses, that's perfect square, and that is perfect square. We have another a and b, so that means 3x. So that means we can keep the front, the back we need to factor to be a plus b, which is 3x plus 5, and a minus b, which is 3x minus 5. Last example. First, we can see they have GCF, which is everything can be divided by an x. Take that aside out, we have 18x cubed plus 21x squared minus 24x minus 28. Next, we're going to do factor by grouping the first two. They share 3x squared. Take it out. We have 6x plus 7 left. For these two, they actually share a negative. And that means we're going to do minus 4. And we have 6x plus 7 left. Don't forget, there's an x in the front. And C has the same thing inside the parentheses. So we can take out 6x plus 7 times 3x squared minus and that is our final answer for example eight that is everything for factor review thank you